Chi Hang Chung, Yu Xuan Wang, and Sabi Babu. Uh, and uh, this is about IVR nodes. Thank you for your introduction. My name is Chi Han Zhong, and uh, this work is collaborated between NCTU and Clemson USA. In order to meet the needs of future VR distributed classrooms and learning environments, we designed and developed a novel interaction metaphors called IVR node for note taking, study, and reflection. And here is a screenshot of our VR classroom environments in which we implement and test IVR node interaction metaphors. Early's work on writing in VR was done by Popperev in which he used passive haptic track service and a track stylus to write on a virtual notepad. More recently, Elmer Graham worked on, worked on writing on a uh, virtual canvas uh, without tactile feedback via ray casting on the canvas with uh, using HTC Vive controller. The work so far has shown that just writing in VR allows for the taking of personalized messages and participants enjoy the act of note taking. <coughs> However, with, the re with regards to the learning environments, richer interaction metaphors for note taking uh, learn, learning and reflection are needed for the educationally effective virtual environments beyond just writing. Based on the rigorous requirements gathering phase, we developed the upcoming interaction metaphors. And how do we implement the pen tracking? When the pen is close enough to the tablet, its position and orientation can be obtained by calling the Wacom API. On the other hand, when the stylus is far away from the tablet surface, the motion controller captures stereo infrared image, and we unproject the stylus pixels from 2D back to 3D. And then we use PCA method to compute the main axis of these 3D pixels to determine its orientation and position. There are different tools in the IVR node system to help students take note, learn lectures, and review. Students can switch the stylus to other tools by clicking the forward and backward buttons on the physical stylus. And we know reviewing is an important part in learning. Also, students may distract during the class, so there is a function that allows students to drag the time slider and revisit the specific part of, student, uh, of lecture. And here is a uh, demo video of uh, some basic function in IVR node. First, we can see the lecture video is projecting on the virtual canvas, and on the left-hand side is Wikipedia for students to obtain solution. And now we can see the student is using the stylus tool to take note. He can also, uh, he can also flip the uh, note to previous or next page by swiping his finger on the tablet surface, just like the video show. And now he changed the tool to the magic stick to drag the time slider. And we can find that the lecture video was talking about Asia and Asia, but now it's teaching pyramids and mummies. IVR notes uh, also allow students to post edit their notes. And this would be very useful when they attempt to insert a line of text into the middle of paragraph. They can cut the pre-written text and virtually move or translate it to a different position to accommodate space for insertion. Also, they can uh, change the stylus tool to a glue, glue shape widget and pinch the thumb and forming four fingers as the image show to determine a rectangle. And when they pinch the, their fingers in the air to capture the mm -hmm. image they want to take, they can also sketch an area on their note to pass the image.
considering that onlinekers cannot answer questions in the presented VR classroom system, we let students check Wikipedia for obtaining solution. They can speak the word they would like to search, and the presenting system will process the voice command by Google Speech API, link the page to the word they say, and they can also interact the screen by using their gesture. Study note is an effective way to review a lecture. However, notes can be too brief to, to understand or contain errors because students have to listen to instructors and write important points at the same time. As a result, we recall the time of each stroke and they can revisit the corresponding part by using a marker to circle an area on their note. And let's watch the demo video. <coughs> we can see at the first, uh, the lecturer is talking about the Nile River. <coughs> and then the student changed the tools to the marker and circle the, uh, circle the note he wrote before. Then the system jumped the lecture video to the corresponding parts. This would be very useful and save a lot of time when they were preparing for the exam. <laughs> to evaluate IVR node interaction metaphors effectiveness, we conduct a user study with 20 participants who came from different backgrounds and majors. The research question is, to what extent is the VR classroom with IVR node effective? user-friendly, engaging, and satisfying as compared to a physical learning environment. So we compare an online learning system in physical world to the virtual reality classroom. The difference between these two conditions was the device and the video playing way. And we designed a two by two within subject study. As I show on the right, two different conditions and two different lecture topics. The topics we chose were adverse, and the participants were interviewed to ensure that they were unfamiliar with the topic of study. There were four phases in each section. First, in the training session, participants learned how to use the assigned system. And then, in the learning phase, they learned the lecture and took note by using the assigned system. After three days or more, they came back and were asked to review the lecture by revisiting the lecture video or their note. And they were given a test on the lecture topics in the testing phase. Here is the main learning score of participants in VR and PW conditions. We analyzed the score by two by two repeating measures ANOVA no man or interaction effects found. In an equivalence test, we found that learning in VR and PW condition were statistically equivalent. We show preference questionnaire results from a survey that was given at the end of the experiment. On the left, participants found the VR system motivated them to study the lecture materials significantly higher than PW. And on the right, we found the VR system enabled participants to focus and attend to the lecture and learn the material significantly higher than PW. And in these two images, left one showed that VR system enabled participants to overcome study difficulties or challenges significantly higher than PW. And on the right, participants rate the VR system was satisfying to use overall significantly higher than PW. Now, please read the quote which participants comment. Observation states that IVR node provided a distraction-free interaction metaphors for participants to focus and study the lecture materials. The IVR notes interaction metaphors using speech, gesture, and tactile interaction to seek and find information was appreciated by the participants. 
The rich and diverse nature of IVR node interaction metaphor was also appreciated by the participants. Not only was IVR node effective in providing a rich study interaction, it was also found to be efficient such as the picture taking functionality. And let me make a conclusion of my talk. IVR node was designed, implemented, and evaluated for students to inter interactively engage, view, review, and study online lectures. And it is also geared toward learning, interpreting, understanding, and problem solving in complex domains such as math and philosophy. In the presenting system, we found that there's, there were still some drawbacks and limitations. We found that participants wrote with larger letters in VR and complained about the weight and resolution of HMD. As a result, we are currently running on a study on evaluation, perception, action, coordination of note taking and drawing using IVR node to study its affordance. We believe that IVR node interaction metaphors will be a great learning material in the future. I acknowledge for my co-author and my professor Yu Xun Wang and Sab Babu. If you want to know more details about IVR node, please contact me. And here is my correspondence. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for the presentation. I'm Anna Tudor from London College of Communication. Um, I'd be curious to know if there is a way to integrate this with other methods of note taking, like for instance, um, Google Docs or handwritten notes um, on paper. Mm, we're in the presenting system, we save the, uh, the, all the notes they took, so they can review uh, without VR system. They can maybe review on the iPad, uh, yes, so. Did I answer your question? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I have also one question, which is the physical uh, setup. Uh, did that include a computer, or was this completely handwritten notes? Uh, the uh, watching the video by uh, personal com personal computer, but right on the uh, real paper to take notes. And so for that, I wonder, is that today the, the way of interacting, or would it be better to compare your solution to one where people would use a desktop computer and type on a keyboard? Actually, in our recent, uh, recent uh, study, we compare with using iPad and, uh, yes, in VR system. Hello, very nice presentation. Uh, my name is Ekta Jain from University of Florida. Um, I was wondering if um, uh, you had any um, insight into whether your participants wrote, uh, whether their writing speed was faster or slower when they wrote in VR. Uh, we didn't compare the uh, speeds, but we, we analyzed the character size, and we found that VR is larger than PW condition. But actually, the minimum character size was read, uh, written by the participants in VR conditions. So I think it's work to uh, write a complex uh, note in VR. Okay. Thank you. Thanks.